glutes and quads, I have to be in the right headspace. I'm praying it's not COVID. What is up you guys let's get this leg day pop in on monday so first i'm just warming up on the bike as you can see i normally warm up on the bike or the treadmill and now i am just doing some dynamic stretches i like to do kicks to kind of open up my hips a little bit and get my legs a little warmed up Now I'm just circling my legs outward and inward on each side to open up those hips. Next, I'm doing some toe touches, getting that stretch in the back of my hamstrings, and then I'm squatting down and opening up my hips and getting a really good stretch on my glutes. Now I'm just doing side to side low lunges to get a good stretch on those hamstrings as well. And I have absolutely no idea what this move is called, but it feels good on like my knees and my hips. So I kind of just go back and forth to loosen things up. Now I'm moving in to glute activation. So I've got a medium size band and I'm starting out with some squats, some banded squats. Now I'm doing a few kickbacks on each leg. Doing some side to sides to kind of warm up the side of my glutes as well as the side of my leg like my side quad, I guess you could say. And lastly, I'm doing some glute bridges to get those glutes going. I'm gonna do the little grumpy pants today. Hmm? <laughs> Alrighty, y'all, ain't nothing new here. Y'all know I start off my leg days with hip thrusts. So I'm starting with a warm up set with just 245 plates on each side. I'm doing about 8 to 12 reps to just get me warmed up and get the blood flowing to my glutes. Ignore us with our glute checks in the mirror. But yeah, so now I'm racking on my weights for my first set. So I just want to point out my form was not the best here, you guys. Um, I was kind of like arching my back a little bit, but I think it's because my back was too high up on the bench it's hard because you can't adjust the benches at planet fitness but just make sure you have your chin tucked your eyes are gazing forward my feet are about shoulder width apart with my toes pointed slightly outward and i'm really squeezing my glutes tight at the top here was a little bit better but my back was a little bit stiff Up next is those good old split squats. Y'all know we got a love-hate relationship here. And if you've been on my channel before, you know my little hack where I sit on my foot and I put my leg straight out and I stand up. It just sets me up to have the perfect form. So I'm doing about four to six reps here on each leg. I go a little heavier in weight and I just do less reps. Form here, always have a slight bend on your knees. You guys know I say it all the time. I have my chest tilted forward a little bit. I'm going to drop down until my front leg forms like a box and I'm going to push up through my heel using that front leg. You're really going to feel that in your glutes. To the leg press machine i did what i would consider a drop set here so i increased the weight but decreased my reps on each set so i'm pretty sure i did 10 reps on the first set eight reps on the next one and then six reps on the last one because that was the heaviest weight so i didn't do it in the beginning but i like to keep my head up because i kind of feel like it keeps my chin tucked and it keeps my spine in line so there's not too much pressure on my spine you never want to lock your knees guys come on you already heard it a million times feet high up and your toes tilted slightly outwards a bit push through your heels it's glue focused over here so that is the key to success so 
So we're coming up on the last exercise, which is the leg extension machine. I only do about four to five exercises just because I feel like I'm pushing myself. I'm doing more compound movements. So yeah, this is the last exercise and I am doing a drop set, but I'm doing the opposite. So I started with a heavier weight and did less reps. So I did six reps, then I did eight reps, then I did 10 reps, decreasing my weight every set. Here, there's not much to say besides kind of just keep your butt planted on the seat. Make sure you have that mind to muscle connection with your quad and don't arch your neck make sure you breathe through this if you're doing the drop set because it can be kind of tough depending on what weight you're using great job baby thanks you guys i just recorded a whole intro and my head was cut off top of my head that's good so I'm re-recording, but I just popped in yesterday and did like a quick intro, but I know it was super windy. So if you are new here, welcome to my channel. And if you are coming back, then welcome back. I appreciate you so much. Guys, I'm finally doing a week of workouts. I'm so freaking excited. I feel like I've been trying to film this for a while now, but yeah, I always just forget to film the first day, which is most likely always a leg day. So I am like, I need to get everything in. It's crucial. So yesterday I hit legs. Monday is normally legs. So I hit it was glute and quad focused so that's normally what I do on Mondays and then comes Tuesday which today is Tuesday we're hitting upper body so I normally either hit back and by or I hit shoulders chest and triceps so today is shoulders chest and triceps I'm so excited I love working shoulders like I don't know what it is but like I've just gotten so much stronger in my upper body and like yeah I just love upper body low-key I love lower body too but upper body just be it'd be hitting different so that's what we're focused on today just to give you guys an overview wednesdays i normally kind of either do a rest day or i'll do a full body or a hit workout thursdays are my next leg day so i'll do glutes and hamstring focus and then fridays i'll do back and by sometimes thursday and friday switch depending on how i'm feeling on thursday i feel like that energy is not there for leg day i'm not gonna force it just because you know you need to be in a headspace to do lower body like to hit glutes and quads i have to be in the right headspace and then come saturday i normally work doubles at my job so it's more of just me getting a lot of steps in and just kind of doing like a light cardio basically because i'm walking around a lot and then come sunday is normally a rest day i just like to relax sundays getting back on track type of thing you know just refreshing from the week to get ready for the following week and i just wanted to point out my outfit just in case y'all was asking or wondering i don't know if you'll be able to see the whole thing but um so yeah top and bottoms are from sheen now don't get me wrong y'all i love alphalete i love gymshark i know they can be pricey and so i can't lie i shop from sheen but their workout clothes are pretty good these leggings were probably 20 bucks they fit literally just like just like gymshark leggings like tight band here and they're seamless there's a thick butt scrunch in there socks are just plain adidas shoes that i got for christmas and then my sports bra i haven't worn this yet but it's so freaking cute it's from nike my brother's girlfriend got it for me for christmas so yep that's what my week of workout entails i hope you guys enjoy this video let's go crush this upper body sesh and i will see you tomorrow for either a full body a hit workout or a rest day It's Tuesday, you guys. We are hitting shoulders, chest, and triceps. So right here, I'm just warming up with jump roping. I'm getting the blood flowing. Honestly, Live Fit inspired me to do jump roping. She does it all the time as a warm-up. But yeah, I forgot how much I loved it. And so I'm just happy to get back into doing it. So I like to practice like different footwork and stuff. It's just fun to kind of work on your coordination. Next, I am just warming up. So I always warm up with a resistance band. So I like to roll my shoulders out back and forth and then from one side to the other, stretching out both of my shoulders. I like to hold around the middle of the resistance band with one hand and pull down on the other end with my opposite hand so that I'm kind of using my triceps to push down and so that just warms up my triceps for me. Push-ups are a staple now for me on every upper body day so I'm just trying to get stronger and basically increase my reps with my push-ups because I think they're awesome but on days I do triceps my hands 
for push-ups are different than on my other upper body day. I keep them in tight, I guess you could say about shorter width apart. And when I go down, my elbows are right by my side. So my arms are staying tight and that really puts a focus on my triceps. Then after I did as many push-ups as I can on my feet, I do the rest of my push-ups on my knees. I started adding in chin-ups and pull-up practice. Um, they're basically a staple as well on my upper body days. I really just want to be able to do at least one of each so I've just kind of been practicing. So here I'm just doing a hang and then I kind of drop down to between halfway and like the top point where I was hanging and I did a few mini chin-ups I guess. First things first here guys, we got one of my favorite freaking exercises ever, shoulder press. So here I'm doing a reverse drop set. So I started with a lighter weight and then I did about eight to 10 reps. Then I increased my weight by five pounds for six reps, then increased my weight again by five pounds for four reps. So key pointers here is the bench is sitting straight up. My feet are planted on the floor. And when you're in your starting position, you want to kind of create a box shape. Be careful not to drop your elbows too low when you're coming back down or even in your starting position i also like to tilt my elbows in towards my face a little bit it just puts less pressure on my rotator cuffs in my opinion Next is incline chest press. I like to use dumbbells for this, but honestly, it's personal preference. So for me, the bench sits at about a 30 degree angle. My arms and elbows are in a straight line with my chest once I'm laying down and I'm kind of forming that box shape like I talked about with the shoulder press. So I squeeze my shoulder blades together and I push through my chest muscles when I push up. I bring the weight together at the top without clanking the weights together. So you're kind of pushing inwards if that makes sense without having those weights touch coming back down my elbows are dropping a little bit too low here but you want to try to focus on keeping them in that line with your chest which is basically going back to your starting position now we've got tricep overhead extension so the bench is the same as it was for shoulder press your arm starts in front of your face and as you extend upwards you squeeze your triceps to lift the weight as your forearm raises over your head don't put a tight lock on your elbow when you reach the top keep like a nice slide bend on it if you feel any uncomfortableness in your shoulder just drop your shoulder down a little bit you're really gonna feel this a lot in your triceps guys I promise it's a good one to win it life. I never miss that fact taking big swings bitch hand me the back Next up, we've got upright rows. So my feet are about shorter width apart. I'm making sure that I pull upwards towards my chin, keeping the bar close to my body and my elbows up and in line with my shoulders. This one is gonna burn so good, you guys. One of my faves we got single arm tricep pull down so i don't use an attachment here i just grab onto the ball on the end of the pulley my arm starts in line with a little bit above my belly button and it's tucked close to my side as you pull the weight down don't let your forearm take over squeeze those triceps and use a mind to muscle connection Last exercise for today is going to be the chest fly machine. Kind of the same concept as chest press. You're squeezing those shoulder blades together and you're using your chest muscles to pull the weight and control the movement to reverse back to start. Keep a bend on your elbows and avoid arching your back. Lastly, I just finished off with about 5 to 10 minutes of walking because don't underestimate walking, sis. It's good for the heart and the soul. What is up you guys so today is the next day it is wednesday i wanted it to be my functional like full body hit day unfortunately i am not feeling so hot my manager actually just sent me home from work which is why i have like makeup on and i'm dressed today i'm just going to use as my rest day and kind of just go from there just lay down get in my fluids rest keep track of how I'm feeling. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be feeling better. I'm praying it's not COVID, but I know a lot of people have been getting it in this time. So I'm just praying for my health and my families, my friends and their family's health. And I'm praying for your health and your family's health and the people that you care about. And we can get through this all together. I will keep you updated. I'll check in with you tomorrow and let you know how I'm feeling what is up you guys so it is thursday and unfortunately i'm still feeling 
sick. But yeah, I'm supposed to be training legs today, glutes and hamstrings. Um, Court's been hitting the gym without me, so proud of her. This week of workouts will continue into the following week. I will not let this week of workouts video not get uploaded, I promise. I've been trying for a while now. Even if it's stuff from the following week, it's still the same workout split. So I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy out there and I will see you when I feel better. What's up you guys? It is Monday now and I'm feeling better. I can tell there's like, my cold is still kind of like lingering around a little bit, like very lightly, but I feel a lot better. So I am going to hit the gym. It is night, which I never work out at night. I hate it, but I didn't hit the gym this morning and I just got home from work. So I'm about to go train glutes and hamstrings. So this would be what I would train on Thursday. So don't think of today as Monday and what I do tomorrow would be what I would train on Friday. Let's go get this lift. I'm so excited to finally go back to the gym. You guys already saw how I warm up on my first leg day. It's basically the same exact thing. So I'm not going to share it again. Kicking off Thursday with hip thrusts. So hip thrusts are included in every lower body day for me. You guys know I do the warm-up set, then I go straight into my three working sets. I strive for progressive overload, so I either increase my weight or decrease my rest time each week. Next, I'm getting into barbell RDLs. Ooh, such a good one. Things I focus on during this exercise. Feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed slightly outwards. Squat down to grab the bar and pick up the weight using my legs. Shoulders go back, chin down to keep my spine in line and a soft bend on my knees. I glide the bar down my legs until I feel a good stretch in my hamstrings and glutes and then I contract those two muscles to pull back up that weight. Careful with arching your back or using your back too much because you can injure it. The more you bend your knees, the more glute focused it becomes. Hamstring curls up next, so I did a drop set here. I think I started with 50 pounds and I did about four to six reps and then I dropped down 10 pounds. I did as many reps as I could until failure and then I did the same as well, dropping 10 more pounds. I did as many reps until failure. This was such a good burn, guys. It, it hurts so bad, but it felt so good. They wanna say my name, but they hold it back. They wanna say they hate, but they know it's cap. I ain't playing no games. I just do that's fact, and I don't feel no shame. It's a mood you lack. I go crazy. Nah, bitch, I ain't lazy. Track after track, I work on the shit daily. Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me. I feel like I neglect my calves sometimes. So here I did some calf raises. I think I did about three sets, doing as many reps as I could, maybe 10 to 15 reps. And you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave them be led I'll Last I just try to switch things up And kind of do a little bit of a burnout So I did some froggers I did not love these I was not obsessed But I mean they still worked my glutes And right here I'm using 20 I think But I had to increase my weight Because it was not enough But yeah it was it was okay I probably wouldn't do it again it's to feel And I finished off with a stair climber for some cardio for the day. It's Friday, lovely people. Well, technically it's Tuesday, but shh, okay. So it's Friday. Yes, yeah, so we're going to head back and biceps at the gym. So let's get it. Friday, baby. So my warm up is the same as my other upper body day. I just do the banded warm up and I get my shoulders rolled out and everything. Kind of get my back warmed up by pulling the band outwards and squeezing my shoulder blades together and then the only thing that's different is my push-ups where my hand placement is i put them at a little bit of a wider stance so that it can target my back a little bit more and then i am just doing some shoulder blade contractions for some pull-up practice Starting off with alternating hammer curls, so my focus stays on my biceps by keeping this exercise controlled. I'm not jolting or swaying my body to help me lift the weight, I just have mind to muscle connection with those biceps here. Mm -hmm. 
moving into bent over barbell rows. So I'm bent over at a point between standing and halfway bent over. So I let the barbell hang down in front of about my knees area with a complete relaxation on my upper back muscles. And I squeeze those muscles and contract my shoulder blades together to pull the weight up towards my belly button. I do a small pause at the top of the contraction to really target my upper back. Next, I did the bicep cable curl with the rope attachment. Not much to say here besides just keep your focus on those biceps. And like I say, every time, slight bend on your knees and make sure your feet aren't too far apart here, about shorter width apart. Next is one of my faves. We got straight arm cable pull down. So I'm using the straight bar attachment for this exercise. You wanna take a nice step back away from the cable machine, have more of a bend on your knees here and your chin in line with your body. You're gonna put your arms straight up and out and then you're gonna contract those shoulder blades downwards and pull the bar down towards your thighs. I can go a little heavier in weight with this. So just keep that in mind when you're choosing your weight. Assisted pull-ups here, your key focus is to keep your mind on those back muscles and contracting those shoulder blades down. It's going to put an emphasis on the muscle you're trying to target. And here's me just doing some assisted chin-ups. I finished this workout off on the treadmill with a sprint walk variation. So I kind of just walked for one to two minutes and then I sprinted slash jogged for about 30 seconds to a minute. And I just went back and forth for about five to 10 minutes here. You guys, it is what would be Saturday for me, which is going to be a full body like hit slash cardio type of workout. I'm currently deciding to kind of start upping my calories. I think I talked about it in my last video. So I'm in a somewhat of a bulk, but I don't want to put on a lot of fat you know i'm trying to count my macros and watch my fat intake obviously get the fats that you need but i've just been being cautious basically and i want to like do like a lean bulk if that makes sense so i'm trying to just incorporate hit and cardio to kind of keep that weight down a bit but also still be gaining that muscle this is what i will be doing as a part of my workout split on saturday so let's go get a sweaty sesh Alrighty, you guys i feel like i've been talking this entire video so i'm just gonna put music over this and let you guys watch this hit workout that i made up on my own i did 30 seconds on 15 seconds off and i repeated it one more time so i did it a total of two times cardio session of the week i did the stair climber i think i was walking at an eight speed and then i bumped it up to about 15 and did like a jog for 30 seconds and then i would walk again for a minute and then jog for 30 seconds 
and I completed this workout with some really, really good stretching, you guys. It's very important, so make sure you do it. Thank you guys so much for watching my week of workouts video. If you liked this split and everything about the video, then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you're gonna try this out and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. Thanks again for all the love and support and I will definitely see you in the next video. See you guys.